we're going to be creating a snapshot from scratch inside of your Go High Level account. One thing to note though is that you can only create a snapshot if you are an agency admin. So if all you do or all you have is a sub account or sub account access for your business, you're not going to be able to do this. You need an agency um, account in order to do this. So the very first thing we're going to do is start from the agency view. So this is the inside of my sub account on the left hand side here. You're just going to switch to your agency view. So click on the name of your sub account selector section there and click switch to agency view. From your agency view, uh, select sub accounts and then choose create new sub account. What we're going to end up doing is creating a blank sub account, building everything out and then turning that sub account into a snapshot. Um, so first thing to note is um, you have SaaS account and regular account. You need to create this as a regular account. And here you have predetermined or pre-filled snapshot templates that Go High Level gives you. So you can certainly start with one of these if that's what you're looking for. Uh, for me, uh, I'm just going to show you how it all works from, from scratch. So I'm just going to click on blank snapshot. And now you're taken to the section where you can actually look for a business in here. But because this is just a account that has no business attached to it, uh, you're going to click on add account manually. This is going to bring you to the information that you need to pre-fill in order to create the sub account. Now, literally nothing in here really matters. You can label them demo, dev, or whatever you want. I typically label my snapshots first and last name demo. The only thing that I do different is right here under business name in the general info section. I give it the name of the snapshot because this is what's actually going to show up um, as the sub account. Once you have all your information filled out here, just head on to the bottom and click save. Then you should see a screen like this that has got the name of the sub account you created along with a few other details including the uh, Yext offers, WordPress, etc. I don't really mess with any of this stuff. You don't really need to in order to create a snapshot. What you have to do though is click on switch to a sub account. This is actually going to load that sub account that you just created and this is where you're going to start to add your calendars, build out your funnels, do your automations, um, and really configure it the way you want it. So what I typically do is go down this list of features in here on the left hand side and I start with calendars. I go in here and I build the calendars that I want. I label them exactly how I want them to be labeled and set some predetermined configurations in there for um, so that my snapshot has something to go off of. The next thing that I do is I build pipelines inside of the opportunity. Now for most people, you're not going to need very complex pipelines. Uh, usually we have this default one, which is new leads, book calls, agreement sent, onboarding, active clients, and no shows. Now this is for an agency, um, this is for an agency um, snapshot. So you kind of get to see what that looks like here. Uh, I go and I build all my marketing information in here. Mainly what I'm doing in here is setting up my email campaigns, my templates, everything that needs to have that needs to be created or copied over to a snapshot. And you'll do the same thing with automations in here. You'll configure all your automations that you want, um, organize them in folders. That's usually a good practice. Then you'll do the same thing with your sites, your website funnels, uh, your websites. Uh, forms is a big one because your forms do transfer over into to that snapshot uh, if you haven't built out so go ahead and build out all your information out in here once you have this sub account exactly how you want it you need to create a snapshot out of it now in order to do that we're gonna head back into the agency view from the agency view you're gonna go to the bottom of the left hand sidebar and click on settings and then inside settings you're gonna select the option that says snapshots now what you're seeing here are a combination of all the snapshots that either you have uh, if you've built a bunch of them they're going to be right here listed or the ones that you've imported in here which is basically the snapshots that somebody um, has given you and you've imported into your account to use for your sub accounts now in order to build the snapshot out of that account that you just created you're going to go to the right hand side click on that green button that says create new snapshot and then from here you're going to choose the account that you want to make a clone out of basically the snapshot now give this a name that you want if i say snap 2023 i can label that uh the name of my snapshot and then i just go down here and choose the ad account that i want to clone so i click demo and when i click save this will create a new snapshot with all those settings uh that you used in your sub account 
you'll see your new snapshot listed here and from here you can do a few things first thing you can do is share it and there's a few options to do that you can share it as a one-time link share it in an email get a permalink for it or even restrict it to a specific agency or a specific sub account you can refresh the snapshot if you make changes to that sub account um, you can even push any updates uh, to that snapshot um, in your sub accounts now there's one thing I to note in here if you go into that sub account and you update the snapshot and you constantly are adding to it over time maybe you add a new funnel maybe you add a new email sequence whatever the case is uh, you need to come back in here into the snapshot settings and you can refresh um, this snapshot and it will copy over those settings on the new data into the snapshot that you created there's no need to create a new one now as far as pushing the updated snapshot to linked accounts this only works if you're using this snapshot in a sub account under your agency so if you share this snapshot with somebody else and they're using it in their agency on another uh, subdomain that doesn't belong to your agency they're not going to get the updated version of this once um, once you click publish or, or update that okay they're basically going to have to import that new snapshot again so uh, hopefully you found this video useful this is how you create a snapshot from beginning to end give it a thumbs up like it subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one